So today we're gonna look at another toner microphone, this time the Q9. It's a studio condenser microphone that comes with a scissor arm stand, which should make things a little bit easier if you don't have space on your desk or wherever you're using your microphone at. And I'll leave a link in the description below with current pricing and more information. Currently on Amazon, this is around $32 right now. So it's definitely considered an entry-level microphone. So let's do a quick unboxing so you can see what's included, what it looks like, and then we're gonna do a mic test to see how it sounds. And it does come with a user guide that says this works with USB 2.0 and it'll work on Windows and Mac. So it does come with a pretty nice pop filter here that has a nice adjustable mount. And the size is about six inches in diameter. So here's the shock mount that it comes with. You can see it's all metal and then a piece of foam material on the inside. Here's your USB power cable. So here's the scissor arm stand itself. And it seems pretty nice, really lightweight metal. Almost feels like a lightweight aluminum that's painted black. And this will extend out to 31 and a half inches. Which I think would be plenty for most people just starting out. And here's the clamp which you can attach to your desk or wherever you might be using this microphone. And it also comes with a foam pop filter. And here's the microphone itself. You can see it's a cylinder shape. Here on the side, you've got a volume up and down button. And on the end is where you plug in your USB. So this microphone does have a little weight to it, so it definitely feels like it's a little more high quality than I thought it would be, considering this is only around $32. One thing that they want you to know is when connected with a laptop, you need a phantom power to provide enough power, or your sound volume recorded might be low because the kit's voltage required is five volts. Also, the microphone cannot be used with a mobile phone or a tablet, and you will need a USB sound card. If you connect to your Mac or other laptop with only one microphone output port, and the USB sound card is not included. And it also says here you cannot use this on an iPhone or Android phone. So you can see here, all you gotta do is thread on the shock mount. Then once you get this in position, it's just a matter of tightening this wing nut. Then you just insert this piece into the clamp. Then you just turn this to tighten it down. And you should be good to go to just slide this onto the edge of your desk and then tighten it up down below. Then it has these little metal pieces here where you can just push these together. As you can see, once this is mounted, you can put this in just about any position you wish. Then once you have it at the right angle, just go ahead and tighten these up and you're good to go. And the nice thing is if you short press the volume down button, it works as a mute. Or if you long press the volume up button, it also mutes the mic. You just wanna make sure when you put it in the shock mount that you can still access the volume up and down buttons because it's a little bit easier this way versus the other way. Then you just tighten up the knob to attach the pop filter. And once you position that however you like, then you're ready to go. So now let's do a mic test and see how it sounds. This is a mic test for the Q9 Toner USB microphone. This is a condenser microphone that's used for gaming, podcasting, music, streaming, YouTube, and can also be used for Skype and Discord. This comes with a pop filter screen, a scissor arm stand, a shock mount, and USB cable to connect to your PC. Now the nice thing about this microphone is you can 
position the mic in just about any position. It can be facing up or it can be facing down, sideways, pretty much however you would like. Another nice thing about this microphone is you don't need a phantom power supply where originally I was having some issues with the volume being too low on my computer for Windows 10. But after messing around with it for a little bit is when you right click on your speakers in Windows 10 and then go to open sound settings. Down at the bottom you'll see a button that says app volume and device preferences. And you just want to make sure that the input is switched from microphone to the Q9-1 microphone. Because there's another generic microphone right above it. So that's just one of my tips if the volume on this microphone is too low on your computer. So you can check the description of this video for more information and current pricing. Right now this is around $32 for this microphone which I feel is a pretty good price considering they give you the scissor arm stand or boom arm which definitely helps clear up some of the space on your desk. I'm going to do a quick test now of just typing on the keyboard. And this is a mechanical keyboard so I'm sure you're going to hear this. So hopefully that gives you a better idea of the Q9 toner USB condenser microphone. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you haven't already. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.